In this video, we will learn how to navigate the Unix file system. Here I'm logged in as user 120 into the training cluster. By default, when you log in into a remote Unix system, you will find yourself in a home directory. Let me check that. I type PWD, stands for print working directory, and I hit return or enter, and it will bring back the name of the current directory. In this case, it's forward slash home forward slash user 120. Let me check what things I have in this current directory. If I type ls and it stands for list, I hit enter and I will see a bunch of things. Some of these are files and some of these are directories. How do I distinguish between them? Well, one easy way would be to pass a flag, capital F, I type ls space minus capital F, and what this does, it will add a trailing forward slash to the names of directories. For example, backup is a directory, codes is a directory, whereas latest, latest is a directory as well, whereas untitled is a file. And this is a symbolic link. We will study the symbolic links later on. I can also pass another flag to ls command. For example, I can type ls minus capital F space minus A. And what this will do, it will also show the hidden files and directories. In Unix or Linux, all hidden file names start with a dot. So for example, bash history is hidden, cache is hidden, and so on. These normally don't show up in the usual output of ls. You can also combine multiple flags into one. For example, instead of typing ls space minus f space minus a, you can type ls space minus f a, and the result is exactly the same. The way this works in bash, it will check if there's a flag called minus f a in the ls command, and if there is, it will use this flag. If there is no just flag, it will simply break this into two different flags, f and minus a. And this is exactly the same command as this earlier version. Another useful command is cd. It will let you change directories. So let's say we want to go from our current location, which is home, to a top level Unix directory called forward slash. The Unix forward slash is always location of the top level directory, and everything in a Unix file system is sitting under forward slash. Let's see what we have here. We have a bunch of subdirectories, and one of them is home. So let's go there. I type cd space home, and now I'm into I'm inside uh, slash home. So let's check what we're having here. We have a bunch of subdirectories, user 001 to user 120. On this training cluster, we have 120 guest accounts, and each guest account has its own home directory. Let me go to my home, cd user 120, and now I'm back in my home directory. This is an absolute path because it starts with a forward slash. On the other hand, if I type cd codes, here I change to the uh, codes subdirectory inside my home folder. And in this case, codes is the relative path because it's relative to my current location. And of course, relative path will only work when you are in the right location. So if I try to type cd codes again, it will give me an error message because in the current codes directory, there is no subdirectory called codes. Let me go back to home. One easy way to do that is to type cd without any arguments. And in Unix, this will always take you back to your home directory. Another useful command is cd space minus, and that will take you to the previously visited directory. Say, previously I was in codes, and typing cd minus will take me back to codes. 
typing cd minus again will take me, take me back to home. Typing cd forward slash, I am now in the top level Unix directory. Let me change uh, back to home using this notation, cd space tilde, and in Unix, tilde always points to your home directory. So now I'm back in my home directory. I can also add arguments to the ls command. I can type ls, for example, and then let's say ls forward slash home will simply list everything inside the forward slash home directory. If you type ls without any arguments, that will show you everything in the current directory, which is in my case, my home folder. If you type ls, followed, for example, by another directory name, then it will show everything inside of that directory. And of course, you can combine flags and arguments to ls. You can type ls minus a codes, and that will show everything inside of codes, including the hidden directories. If you type ls minus af, that will show everything inside of the top level Unix, uh, Unix directory, including the hidden files.